that can afford it a night out at the theatre is a wonderful night out isn't it as I say for those that can afford it I know over here in London and in certain parts of the United Kingdom tickets have now become astronomical and a lot of people say oh yes but of course it's the the cost of the production the actors but if, for those that work in the business like I do I can see the way that they've trimmed the costs already you see you used to have a full orchestra dancers compare curtains all sorts of things now when you go to the theatre have you noticed you virtually frog march to your seat by someone that looks like they're doing an extra shift from a prison they search your bag want to know exactly what you've got in it and lo and behold if you've sneaked in some mints or some sweets without buying them at their very expensive kiosk you're almost marched back out so this particular story when you think about it is, is incredibly strange because the Arts Council of England that is a, an organization that funds theatre events that sort of stuff you know which of course has a lot of money all thanks to the British government well what's fascinating here is they recently announced that they're going to stop funding the ENO that is the English National Opera which is of course based in London in a huge theatre I might point out with 3,000 plus seats a big venue to fill now obviously the English National Opera is very much a core audience but they rent the theatre out to other productions to make sure that they simply cover their costs but a lot of people over here are wondering exactly how the Arts Council can benefit this particular production which they've now decided to fund up to the region of £17,000 as ever let me explain that's right the Arts Council are going to be giving £17,000 to a one-man play based on the life of the late and beautiful Princess Diana and it's called Diana the untold untrue story and as I say it's put together by a Swedish actor nothing wrong with that obviously but the background to this is simply mesmerizing because it portrays Diana trying to break into Buckingham Palace and murder our late monarch Her Majesty the Queen seemingly and this is where I find it baffling it costs 17,000 pounds to put this one-man play together what are they doing hiring in some of the furniture from Buckingham Paris or Clarence House why does it cost so much money and as I say when you look at the situation with theatre in general particularly over here in the United Kingdom and you can see the way that they're pulling money from one idea to another the Arts Council England have stood by this saying it's a provocative piece that many people will wish to see but at £17,000 to recoup on a single show on its own can it truly ever really do that and more importantly the provocative setting the background and the storyboard are simply there to shock so it can't really run for long because people will simply turn away thinking well this isn't true this isn't even comedy so who on earth funded it so when you do go to the theater and wonder where does your money go that is invested into the Arts Council well this is exactly what they're investing in now so while they're pulling the money away from the ENO, the English National Opera, seemingly they're wasting your money on something even more macabre. As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Should the Arts Council be scrapped? Does it really cost £17,000 to put on a one-man play? Really? Over to you, Neil Sean in the very heart of London.